Hello my crafty friends, my name is Denise Becker and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from sunny Florida. And I'm coming on tonight for my um, hash, hashtag Denise Becker Bah Humbug. And um, <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, I, I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> when I thought I wanted to make a never ending infin or, or infinity card. This was I, I don't know. This was one of the hardest cards I've ever made. You have to be so accurate. And uh, I ended up making using uh, a, a, a six by six paper from uh, Mixed Up Craft because the A2 size was used measurements uh, like says 16th, you know, 1 16th. And uh, if you're not completely accurate, it won't work. So I, can, I think I tossed about four or five cards. Now I did make, um, here's the front. Um, and I wanted mine to have, I wanted the, the sentiments to go in the same direction. You don't have to, you can do, you know, whatever you want, but you open it up. Now here's where I made a mistake. Uh, I have these dragon, this is the second uh, page, and I, I did a thinking of you, and I uh, actually stamped some little flowers, and I embossed it, and put some little dragonflies there, and uh, you can see there's, uh, when you open it up again, you can see these dragonflies from, from this side, so open up the next page if you don't want that showing because I you know I would have preferred to have done it a little differently but whatever <laughs> I don't even care at this point but I you know it, it I think it's a cool card and this is the uh, last page and again I um, used my um, uh, two what was it two inch circle punch I, I stamped the sentiment on there and I embossed it and I used that um, starburst um, um, circle behind it and um, I left a little little mess little place here to write a message and um, and then it just takes you right back to the front page but you can fold it in any direction you want now Sam actually had her um, sentiments were all mixed up I mean she did she didn't care it didn't bother her I sort of wanted mine all you know when you st from start to finish I wanted it you wanted the sentiments to be in the same area so it took me forever to come up with <laughs> try this little template just to figure out uh, you know I had got little arrows point up you know because I was determined to keep to keep the um uh, sentiments you know in order and uh, wrote down all the measurements and then you just start right from the beginning that's the front and i'm i'm telling you uh, it, it took me I, I was i was lost i was absolutely lost making this card but i went ahead and decorated mine because this took me uh it took me almost an hour to decorate it and that was before all the cutting out, you know, I cut out these little squares and I put them on, you know, white paper in the background and die cut, stamped and die cut all those flowers, you see that pile right there. I mean, I, I, it just took me forever to make this. So I'm not going to decorate it because it just takes, I mean, we'll be here all night, but uh, I did add some little dragonflies and I think it's I think it's a, a cool card. I think I wish I hadn't put the dragonflies there like that. I should have opened it up so I knew what was coming. But I still like it. Uh, and you don't have to fold it like this. You can fold it any way you want. You you any way you want. I just wanted mine like that, and it does stand up like that. So I it's a it was a pain in the neck. Tell you the truth, it was a royal pain in the neck. And I'll probably won't do it again. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. I, I finally, finally figured it out. But I probably won't do it again. Because it's, it's just not my favorite kind of card. And uh, although I think kids would have a ball with it. I think kids would just have a ball with it. Folding it, you know. And uh, 
I think they would really like it, but I don't know. I don't know. It was just, it was, it was a royal pain, pain in the butt. And I, you know, especially trying, wanting all my sentiments to be, uh, in the same direction. That, that's what really uh, threw me for a loop. I just wish I'd done, you know, hadn't to put the dragonflies right there. I wish I'd have put them, you know, smaller ones, something over here or inside there so you didn't see that, but whatever, it doesn't even matter. But, you know, because like I said, Sam, she didn't even have her sentiments going in the um, uh, right direction. Let me figure out how to get back to the beginning. There we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can fold it in a zillion different directions. And it, 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 it is cool. It's just, it was, it was just not worth it to me. Just not my kind of, not my kind of card. Um, and, it, and I thought it was extremely uh, it, confusing. I just, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I don't know why. I usually don't have that much trouble with, with cards, but this one threw me for a loop. I mean, threw me for a loop. But, uh, yeah, there it is. So, I finally got it. Um, I know I'm coming on, you know, uh, well, it's late. It'll be midnight before the video comes on. But, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be super busy. Um, I've got uh, blood work. I've got a doctor's appointment. Then I've got to go do some shopping because... We got an uh, invitation to a, a baby shower on Saturday that we didn't even know about. It just just came a couple of days ago, so I've, I've got a... I made a card, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, and I'm going to make another one. And, uh, yeah, I made this one um, uh, with the playing in the rain. Showered with... shower. I put an umbrella. That's a, a retired thing. Showered with love. And I, I just... I don't like it. I don't... I, I just don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. I should have put the little gate on there. I just don't like it. Plus, I messed up the back. The, it's crooked. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm totally... You know, I've got to make up... we got to get the gift. And then i got to find... Figure out what size bag to make. And I'm make... Uh, these are real easy to make. Quick and easy to make. So, I've got to remake that. Because I don't, I don't like it. This has been the week of throwing out cards. Oh, it's driving me crazy. I have wasted so much paper. But there it is. There it is. The never-ending or infinity card. And that's probably the last one I'll ever make. <laughs> ever make it. I made it with uh, modern, modern Garden and that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Paper. I love this paper. It's the one I made that Christmas card out of. That, And I'm... I didn't use this because I'm saving this um, because first of all you want to use um, small print small print because there's small little sections you know I'll leave all the measurements um, I did mat mine I used I put it on a um, my paper was purple peacock that I made the uh, base out of and then I did layer mine mat mine on white you don't have to you don't have to. I, you know, I just like layers. So, I'll give you uh, all the measurements. And uh, Sam's was a little bit different than um, most that I had seen. And it looks easier. So, I said, that's it. That's it. Let me try that one. <laughs> Let me try that one because I'm, I'm having trouble with this. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to start out with four pieces of uh, three by six uh, cardstock and you make make cut them is you know try to try to get this as even as possible uh, it's really important to get it as even as possible and then just score at one and a half inch on uh, all the I'll put on the long side score at one and a half inch on both sides and that's it these four pieces that's going to make the base and they're going to go like this like this these two with the uh horizontal this is going to be the back of the card and that's the the horizontal lines and this is going to be attached wait how does that go oh no like that wait yeah the the uh i'm sorry the horizontal lines are going to be in the front the vertical lines that's going to be in the back and we're going to attach it to to the corners this corner and that corner and then this corner and that corner and that makes the mechanism and uh even that took me a while to get i mean i was like to, i was i don't know I've, I've never had such trouble with a card before um i'm gonna show you the mechanism and then decorate it however you want 
Um, I do, I do think you need some sentiments in there. I think it's kind of cool to have, have sentiments in there. And, um, so I did put as many as I could. How's that fold now? There we go. There we go. I didn't put a sentiment on there, but, uh, I did, uh, the back and then I'll sign back there. And then it just leads right to the front. And I just love these papers. The colors are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, I'm going to show y'all how to do it. Uh, I hope. <laughs> now, the first thing we're going to do on the, the two pieces of paper that have the um, vertical lines, we need to come down on the corners, on the corners up here. Just make a little mark right up top at one inch, just a little pencil mark. Nobody will see this because we're going our adhesive, we don't want the adhesive to go below this point, okay? So I'm gonna turn it around and do the same thing. Just mark one inch. And then on the um, bottom, because that's where we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing, one inch. I don't want my adhesive to go above this, okay? So that's it, that's all you do. It's really not that hard to me. I just, for some reason, found it extremely confusing. I don't, I don't know. I've never had such trouble with a card. Never. <laughs> I mean, I've had to watch, you know, videos before and, you know, rewind and go over it. But I am going to use some um, tear and tape and glue. And don't put your, uh, your tear and tape right. And don't go over that score line either. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Oh, I'm not even in camera. Uh, go below that um, little uh, pencil mark. Just below. Okay. Put, well, that I went over with. That's okay. I can push that back. And then I'm going to put one down here. And... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't, if I, if I decorated it, it took me, I, I don't even know how long. I, I worked on this thing for two days, trying to figure it out, uh, trying to decide what kind of decorations I wanted. Uh, I cut out a whole ton of stuff that I ended up not even using, but that's okay. I can always use, uh, you know, flowers on other cards, so no big deal there. But, uh, yeah, it took me forever, forever to do this. I think a kid would really like it. But, uh, eh, I'll find some other card they like. <laughs> this was just way too much. Way too much. No, I mean, now that I kind of kind of know what I'm doing, and now we're going to uh, put this away, and we're going to go turn this around, and we want the glue up here, okay? Because, see, we want the glue on the top and on the bottom of these two pieces and that's how we're going to attach it together i know it's crazy it's 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 really a crazy card i was like i was totally confused i was like i don't i don't i don't understand what you're doing uh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute and it, and you have to be as accurate as you've ever been so let's hope i cut these even i hope uh, yeah. I mean, it did. It, it, it took me, oh my gosh. Because I didn't know what I was doing. I did not know what I was doing. And the, the directions were not easy to follow. And especially the A2 size. When, when you start, I mean, I can, I can cut on my trimmer, no problem, 16th of an inch. But you have to be completely accurate so that's where it was like i was like oh boy if i don't have this completely accurate it's not gonna work and i hope i've got this cut right i'm tired now so i probably shouldn't be doing it but i'm gonna be so busy tomorrow um i might not be able to get on Yeah, who gives, sends out an invitation like a, not even a week before? We were shocked to get that. Okay, so let me go ahead and burnish this down. And I'll just, that glue that's sticking over, I'll just move it back. 
you can just use your fingertips and just roll it back on to the paper. And don't worry about that pencil mark. Nobody will see it. Okay. So let me get this. And we're just going to do one section at a time. Uh, come on. There we go. It's a crazy card, I'll tell you. I, 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 it, it is a crazy card. Crazy card to make. I'm going to go ahead and put my glue right on top of that tape so I can move it around because you have to have, yeah, I'm going to roll that glue back up. There we go. Um, you Then you're going to take this piece. Let me get that out of the way. Now this has to be lined up completely with this top and the sides. I mean, it has to match up or it's not going to work. You want it the top, all the, the whole top, the side, and then we'll do the bottom. Let me just make sure this is, whoops. Yeah, and see that glue, I can slide it around so I can get it nice and straight. That looks pretty good. Okay. Yep, that looks good. Okay. And now we're going to take, um, oh, this one, sorry. Now you take the other piece and take the bottom off the other piece. I know it's weird. It's very weird. I, I It's very weird, I'm telling you. It's the weirdest card I've ever made. It's not like brain surgery or anything like that, but it, but it, to me, it's confusing. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I don't know why I was so fascinated with this card. I'd seen so many people make it, and they all, oh, it's so easy, so easy. I'm going, well, uh, you might think so, but I don't know about that. All right, now we're going to lay this on top, and again, we want that corner corner and let me make sure um, well if I can get it on there that is can y'all see what I'm doing I hope let me turn this down there so y'all can see what I'm doing it's not right in front of me so I want the sides the corner to be complete in the bottom to be completely flush there we go just make sure that looks pretty good okay well that doesn't look pretty good hold on that's a little bit off there I think I moved it yeah if you put that glue on there it, it helps that you know the tape won't you know if you just put the tape it'll stick right down and uh, you can't move it okay now we're gonna take the other top off Hope y'all don't mind I'm not decorating because it really does. I mean, when you see all those flowers and, and, and having to put all these little squares, uh, you see how many folds and squares there are. I mean, it would just take me, it did take me forever. I just wish I had paid attention to the dragonflies I put there. And then it just takes me right back to the front. But a lot of people don't care that you know if they, if the uh, if their sentiments aren't on. Uh, sorry, Al, I'm doing a, a tutorial. It doesn't matter to them if their uh, sentiments aren't in the you know same direction. They just fold it, and, and it'll fold up a zillion different ways. But I wanted mine like this, so I had to be all picky, and it took me forever. Okay, now we're gonna take this. Side, which doesn't matter. No, I don't think it matters. They're gonna, the paper is going to fold back and forth, all you know, different ways. So just line that up, just like you did the other one, completely flush, as flush as you can get it down the side. Let me make sure that is good and straight. There we go. Well, that's a little, hopefully that's okay. Just be very, very, very accurate in your cutting, your measuring, in your cutting. 
that is key. Okay. All right. I think that's good enough. I hope. Okay, now we're going to take the bottom uh, tape off of here. The backing, I mean. Y'all see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I, I have to, you know, I, I need to have to have it like right in front of me or I can't see. <laughs> I'm blind as a bat. Okay. Yeah, just put it over that tape and you can slide it around. And it makes it, um, you know, stronger. Now, let me just, you should be able to just fold it down, but... Um, Sometimes that doesn't work out. There we go. Want that flush, flush, flush. Side, top, corner, everything. Flush. All right, that looks pretty good. And that is your mechanism. That's it. That's your mechanism. Now you decorate like crazy. Let me just make sure that is good and stuck. And, uh, let me see. Yeah, that looks like... Now, this... See, this might catch a little bit. I might have to, um, maybe use my guillotine and maybe just slice off a tiny, tiny... Because you don't want this overlapping because it might catch. Okay. This is the front of the card. Okay? Just like that. Take it back. And fold it down. And use your bone folder press it down that's your second piece second side I made mine four different sides I guess you could fold it in different ways but I just kind of like the sentiments all going in the same direction okay that's your second one and then you see these folds up here fold it back and then the bottom one fold it back there's number three same thing. Burnish. Now there's a little gap in there. There is a little gap. See, I'm a little bit off, but it's not going to matter that much, especially after it's decorated. But I, I mean, I'm telling you, I've never seen such a finicky, finicky, finicky card. And that will take you, let's see what else. Um, Yep, that'll take you right back to the front. Yep, that'll take you right back to the front. Yeah, that is that is catching a little bit. That is catching a little tiny, tiny bit. So there you go. Fold it back like that, back like that, just like that. And there you go. That's the back. And then fold it under again, and there you go. It'll take you right back to the front. Yeah, that is, that is a catching a tiny tiny bit and you can see the papers bending there so I'm you know if that happens we might might have to take my guillotine or yeah I might have to take my guillotine just take off as little as possible so that doesn't catch right in the middle it is flush but it, it is hanging over just a drop now I don't know why but it is but that's it that's that's how you put it together and then just, you know, before you, like, you know, after you decorate this, open this up. And then open up the next layer so you can see. Because um, the first time I, when I decorated this, I didn't realize behind it there was these two panels, these big panels. And I just put, um, like, a little panel right there. Now, you could put... Uh, two panels that would be fine that would be fine too you could do that but I wish you know I had paid attention more to the to the than that that just takes it right back to the front and then you open it up that way so that's it that's it yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to that is that is catching that that is catching and, t and messing up the paper I need to take off less than a sixteenth of an inch right there just to but that's it I mean, it, I, it, I would decorate it, but I'm telling you, it took me, it took me, um, almost an hour to get all of this stuff. Just pay attention to, um, 
you know, how, how you decorate it because I, I kind of wish that wasn't showing like that, but I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, it does really doesn't matter. It just took me forever to cut out all these pieces. Um, these are four three by six scored at one and a half inch on both sides. And then the, um, the little, um, uh, this big square, let me, let me open this up and get it back to the, okay. The big square is two and three quarter and by two and three quarter. The white piece, if you want to mat it with the white, I just think it make with this dark up pretty peacock, I thought it just made the color pop. You don't have to, you do not have to. You can just cut out a piece of two, uh, and you'll need, uh, eight, eight pieces of the two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Now, if you want to mat it, that's two, the white would be two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Okay. Now these little, these rectangles are one and a quarter by two and three quarters. And you'll need eight of those. If you want to mat it, the white, that would be one and three eighths by two and seven eighths. And again, you'd need eight of those, of course. And then the little squares, these little squares, I believe eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight of those. And these are one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And if you want to mat it, it's one and three eighths by one and three eighths. So it's very simple measurements. I mean, very simple measurements. I did uh, emboss this uh, circle and put the starburst, um, I forget what size this circle is, but it comes, uh, there's, I, there's a starburst that comes with it. This is a two inch circle and then it, there, the starburst came, comes behind. I could have used a different color to paper to make it stand out, but and then for this little white piece of paper to use to to sign to sign it, I just added um, added. Uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I just added that in the middle just to sign it and put the little flower there. So uh, it did take me a long time. I won't lie. With all this um, die cutting, and you know, and you could see what I have behind there, all that left over, and uh, you know, mat, all doing all this matting. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these now. I don't know because maybe I don't know. Maybe I will make another one of these. I don't know. We'll see. But that's how you do it. Um, yeah, I just I'm having. I'm thinking this might need to be taken off just a hair just a hair and i have a guillotine so i might I, i'm almost afraid to because but i see that it's although it, it is it's well maybe it's over just a drop it might be over not even a 16th like a 30 second you know it's it's not, it's just a hair just a hair that needs to come off and then it would be, actually, this, this actually came out pretty good. I'm surprised. <laughs> I did a pretty good job with that. <laughs> so there you go, y'all. There you go. That's how you do it. Fold it this way. Now see, oh, I see, because I must, see, I must have, there's a gap. There's a little bit of a gap in this. I guess I just messed up. Yeah, because that's a little off right there, but whatever. I'm not worried about it. That takes you right back to the front. And like what I did on this was I made a template and I put front and I put little uh, like arrows, you know, pointing up. So that's where I knew, you know, I wanted my sentiments facing up and I did put the measurements in each um, little. And then I put this is number two, the way when you fold it over, that's number two. And then you fold that back and back and that's number three. And then this is number four. And then, yeah, so I did, I did do that just to help myself out and then take me right back to the front. So that's it. I mean, that's, it's really not that hard. It's just to me, when I first did it, I was like, I do, I, I don't know why it took me a while to catch on, but now I kind of got it. Now I got it. Now I got it. Now I think I, now I wouldn't be so uh, scared to death to make it. 
So there you go. There is the never ending or infinity card that I just had to make. <laughs> had to do it. <laughs> just pay attention to how you're decorating because I would rather that not be there, but whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. And these are some little teeny tiny little dragonflies that came with a new stamp set I got. I can't remember the name of it. Something meadow that came with it. They're so cute. And then I had a, uh, uh, a, a die that came with one of my stamp sets that uh, cut out this bigger one. And did I put any other ones? Yeah, I put a couple. It comes punches out a big one and then uh, like a, this this size. And I put a couple on there. So there you go. There's the never ending infinity card. So I hope y'all like that. Um, pain in the neck. You want to? I think it's pain in the neck, and I am gonna have to take off just to drop because I can see that's gonna that's gonna mess up my paper, and it's gonna catch. Yep, it's gonna catch. It has to just touch or just barely. Yeah, I was off. I don't know how. You know, I, I measured everything. Everything matched up nice. <laughs> it, you have to be so accurate. That's the only thing. You, accuracy counts. Accuracy really counts. With that. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't turn my camera back. I hope y'all could have saw what I was doing. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. And then decorate it however you like. I'll leave the measurements for you and Sam's uh, tutorial. And next week, you won't mind it. It's uh, it's more of a technique. Uh, it's called a faux sh um, shutter card. Now, I have made a real shutter card that you pull on the top and it reveals a message. Those are not, th that's a little complicated, but I have done that before. But this is a faux shutter card, so it's just mainly a technique. And they're very pretty. They're just very, very, very pretty. Very easy to make. You won't mind it at all. Um, I know I will not, not after the, not after tackling this thing, <laughs> this was a beast at first. I was like, oh my God, I don't, do not understand what they're saying. <laughs> and forget about the A2 size. Uh-uh, no, 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 no way. <laughs> that was way too much. But anyway, y'all, so it's a, not a next week, number five will be, did I write that down? And I'm sorry, I, uh, I've been so busy all day. I did, I haven't checked. Let me write this down so I don't forget. I haven't seen if anyone has made this. I will check. It is a faux F A U X shutter card. So I'm anxious to see some uh, tutorials on this one. What y'all came up with? I and mean, if anybody, if anybody came up with the uh, A2 size, because that's the one I really wanted to do. But you know, you know, when you're talking sixteenth of an inch and you have to be so accurate, I was like, ah, eh, nah. I think I'll pass. I'll go with the six by six. <laughs> so there you go, y'all. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I did not. <laughs> I mean, now, okay, I'm okay with it now. I didn't enjoy it for a couple of days. I was like, I'm ready to blow my brains out with this card. <laughs> but I think I got it now. I don't know why I'm off a little bit, but whatever. Uh, so y'all, thank you so much for watching. Week five will be faux shutter card very easy to make very easy to make and very pretty so y'all thank you so much for watching i'll leave sam's channel and the measurements and uh i will see you soon y'all have a wonderful day and i appreciate each and every one of you i'll see you soon bye bye